Experience Podcast, Endurance Noise, Random Musings. It's Saturday night, September 5th, here in Bakersfield, California. Just completed another day of the race around the world, the Circumpolar Race, brought to you by Laz and Company. Um, pretty good day. It's got really, really warm and hot, but kind of glad that I uh, did my four months of racing across Tennessee. In fact, I finished the race across Tennessee for the rat, and then I did the bat back across Tennessee, and then some extra miles. But it's kind of nice to uh, back off on just pure mileage on my feet and do some more swimming and some cycling. I just got my bike uh, set it up so that I can ride it on my uh, trainer. Um, I was trying to use Swift, but I've got a kind of a old school towny electric bike. And the trainer I have, I got the Wahoo cadence and speedometer thing. And it links up from time to time on Swift, but it doesn't do it enough. So, But the Wahoo app itself works out pretty good. Shows my spin rate, my cadence, and my speed, and my mileage. So I'll just do the exercise bike like that. Mainly just get up in the morning and before I go walk in with Blanca, try and do 10, 15 minutes, just to get the legs warmed up. And it definitely makes a big difference when I go out and walk and get my miles in. This morning, did 45 with Blanca, then hung out and uh, then continued on. So if you're looking here at my Fitbit, um, yeah, my resting heart rate was 54 which um, it's been trending down a little bit. It's been back and forth pretty much. But, you know, if you look over here and you go to a year, you know, and you can see, um, sorry about that. You can see when I had that fall back in March and I was doing okay. And then boom, just before I went to the hospital, look at that, my resting heart rate was 78. Yikes. And then of course it plummeted right down. Once I started taking, you know, the Lasix, peed off 20 pounds of water, and, um, you know, and, and now I'm taking these blood pressure medicines, some other stuff, and feeling pretty good. Um, I had to just figure out when to take it, because if I take it before I go door dashing, I have to stop and pee all over the place, so that's not good at all. Um, then, of course, um, you know, the old sleep, <laughs> hour and four minutes, supposedly, but that's not exactly right, because it's showing. I went to bed yesterday. I was really tired. I went to bed at 8 o'clock and woke up at 11, and then went back to bed at 4 so yesterday is showing that I got, you know, six hours, but, uh, and then so, but it's, I don't sleep like a normal person, that's for sure. Look at that, four hours and 23 minutes this week, a month's only four hours, and for three months, five hours, nine minutes, and a year is 526. And, you know, especially in the summer, um, just with the longer days and stuff, I just don't sleep that well. I mean, I, I sleep, but I just sleep kind of like cat naps here and there. I definitely had some sleep in this morning and this afternoon and sometimes the Fitbit catches it sometimes it doesn't you know exercise on the Fitbit really like how it does this um, um, and it, it you know I don't I don't mess with the settings at all it just kind of um, it uh, detects whether you're doing stuff auto recognize exercise is what it called <clears throat> and so you can see it recognized my swim this evening it's 642 and I swam for 12 minutes and it's got me down for 13 uh, so using that swim tether um, you can see that in the show notes on my YouTube channel you can purchase one of those and then of course before that it says walk at 5:32 uh, p.m. I was actually running on the Swift but it thought I was walking and then if you go down here I had a two-hour walk in the morning and so that was basically my Saturday I did come home and do the kettlebell and all that kind of stuff uh, kettlebell drills Blanca has been doing them really a lot and we've been doing these um, running drills too so we get back from our walk we do the kettlebell we've been using this one app and another one where it's runners kettlebell really good and then we're doing some running drills and uh, you know I tell my wife I go you know you're putting in 40 50 minutes every morning and doing kettlebell and doing these running drills you're doing more than most athletes are doing if you look here on my straw that looks like I got something congratulations you completed Dempsey challenge presented by Amagen archaeology and uh, click on here, kind of just the same story, you know. Uh, the um, after I did my swim, I did the uh, uh, mud workout, is what I call it. Uh, Tough Mudder has an excellent like multi-month uh, training program, and so I've been using that and kind of doing it in the pool. And like I'm doing the first week, so it's like a five-minute jog, which I run in the pool, you know. And you can see it there: squats, push-ups, lunges, all that stuff, and. I'm doing the pool right now because I can actually do the drills when I'm in the pool. Who knows? I'd love to get into the land. And uh, then, of course, just the swim and, and the Fitbit. 
um, information. My watch is still calibrating, so my paces and times are all kind of over the place. But the 245 is much better than using the um, little shoe thing I had. And the shoe thing was more steady, but I don't think it was as accurate either. So that's kind of my training day for the uh, craw, as they call it. Got long ways to go. I think I'm at 100K total mileage. And, you know, as always, though, my goal is to stay healthy, be boring, and not epic.